हेलो 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 आई एम वेटिंग फॉर रोहन टू ज्वाइन रोहन इट इज आई आई एम हियर हेलो हेलो आई आई एम हियर finally i was like i was so uh, enthralled by uh, the animation that i myself yeah. made and i'm enjoying making these animations it's literally transitions and figuring out new fc i was Hold just staring on. and then i forgot oh we have a stream <laughs> yeah so i saw because you were like you you went off the zoom call you were all like okay chal 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 starting and then i was like oh i've not put on the stream so how will i know when he announces like me on or whatever then i put it on and i'm just watching animation chal raha hai animation chal raha hai like oh wow he's going to do the whole countdown he's not moving until we do the whole <laughs> countdown well done but you deserve like one full on like this thing because like i know you put a lot of love and heart into these and i to- i told you it makes my week like just waiting for the thumbnail that you're going to send me yeah so, man uh, it it was week, it makes my entire week uh shout out to nitesh who's designing the thumbnail so basically i asked him i'm like nitesh this is what i want to do and we tried out lots of permutation combinations and eventually we settled on john, john snow and i'll be a uh, prison mike and uh, we did like a little bit of painting on the this things and all but like it's proper like it's a collaborative effort you know when i'm like okay well let's done. so i have so many decapitated photos of your head on my yeah, computer i can tell i just <laughs> like it's disturbing how it many is. floating head versions of cut out something you must have <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little disturbing. I now have one because of the crossword screen. Yeah, but um, you still add one. the full body. You don't have a cut I have, out. Yeah. I have floating torso. I have floating torso. Exactly, exactly. Of you. I can't wait for us to like run out of ten pole events and then like we get to the more obscure shit and Nitish is just like, "What do you mean a Cthulhu thumbnail? What is a Cthulhu thumbnail? That that makes no sense." But that's what I'm saying, right? Like it's like. Like the whole idea of this was obviously us kicking out, but not every single time there's going to be something that's going to have everyone watching or everyone. Of course. Like I mean, if of let's course. say we are doing a book stream, which we will definitely do, but if we are doing 100%. a book stream, I mean, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who are like, I have, I don't know why you guys are going so deep into these books. I've never read these books. I don't know what you're well, talking about. Well, because but- that's literally the entire raison d'être of this show. Is like this. <laughs> so literally, I'm saying, yeah, our party is. We're going to play music. We're going to play. और तुम्हें पसंद नहीं आया तो ठीक है तुम्हारा प्रॉब्लम ऑक्स हमारे पास है एग्जैक्टली अल्टीमेट ऑक्स हमारे पास है वी आर द कैप्टन नाउ I love that meme dude that's my <laughs> that's Great just meme. just for everything oh, i'm the i'm the captain now um, <laughs> on that note by the way everybody welcome uh, uh, last week uh, if you all are fans of this you all know that officially the chat is now renamed to the league so welcome league welcome welcome to the stream um let's see what the uh, what the league is saying love this i have not- to give you i have to give you updates now that you mentioned the league uh, yeah. since we did the fandom stream i've gone batch it and i have as a result of the fandom stream i would like to point out that um, i ended up spending entirely too much money to rebuy all of uh, 52 to be clear not new 52 52 and countdown to final crisis because we were talking about comics last week and yeah. all feels happened yeah. and that night only i ended up like uh, this thing so i'm just saying ke pichle hafte ka aur is hafte ka super chat mera hai like main bahut bahut paisa spend kiya for no reason uh so yeah leak please if you guys want to compensate rohan for his comic collection uh please feel free to send us your super chats uh feel free to send us your messages we are reading your chats we are yes. reading what everybody is saying the uh, pishvi gang is pishvi also gang here, represent way, well pishvi done pishvi gang man the pishvi gang uh this pishvi is this is the is perfect right. amalgamation of stuff pishvi gang meet watana army hello hello everybody so it, uh, just a bag full of peas <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that is the symbol of the house of this stream basically that is the just a plastic bag full of peas <laughs> I love this chat. Uh, this chat by Newt Scammer saying how ironic of Rohan being Jon Snow. He knows literally everything. Yes, that yes, is uh, yes. very valid. This thing. That is uh, fair. That is fair. But that's what makes it ironic. <laughs> nice. Got a nice bunch of people. So uh, welcome. This is the BBC top hundred list. So I'll tell you what yes. the basic gist of today's stream is. Uh, last week BBC released a list of the hundred best shows of all time, and. Uh, Rohan and I have some thoughts. There are things that we agree, disagree mm-hmm. with. So mm-hmm. we thought, mm-hmm. why not let's discuss the shows and also along with that try to create our list of the top ten shows yes. that we think you should watch. Uh, the binge o'clock list of the top ten shows. Correct. And- should we also tell them a little bit about the methodology of the BBC survey so they can put the list into perspective and be like, okay, this is why maybe this list is so Eurocentric. Or- yeah. 
US centric or whatever. Uh, also, yes, as uh, Daily Child artist says, smash that like button, guys. Yeah, hey guys, I'm going to now be very desperate. Okay, no, 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 I don't, no, no. I don't smash like it, this. Smash yeah. it, smash it, smash it. Yeah, and also if you have any any of your friends who are sitting and doing absolutely nothing right now, send them this link right now. Tell them two guys are sitting and discussing TV shows. What more do you want from a Thursday evening? And make sure that we get more people watching, okay? Because yeah, I, and even I, if you want more from a Thursday evening, you know what? You're not getting it. So just fucking come on the stream quietly and watch. <laughs> Like just shut up and come, okay? Ha, so you were title of your sex tape. Title of your sex tape. Oh shut up yeah. And come. Wait, man. One second. I'll just write it down because that's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Diljit Singh Narwal. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Diljit. Novels are expensive. Yes, they are. Um, geek or nerd, and what is the difference according to you? I think more geek than nerd. Because I think nerd also implies deep knowledge of like. things right or no is, is I, nerd so that? technically nerd is more like nerd is more like someone who is into like electronic stuff also someone who is like i'm a nerd right so i mean you yeah. you talk about computers and you're talking about rigs and you're talking about that's the thing like i'm a nerd means you roam around with your pocket calculator and you're going to Haan. be super mera knowledge thoda surface hai main nerd nahi hu so yeah exactly geek we are geeks like, we are geeks yeah. geeks are the oh my god did you see that show that day oh wow that was like that that level yeah. uh, also vamsi is right this is only tv shows from the 21st century like yes. so this is anything that from 2000 onwards which is why like, like i think which was the show i was watching uh, i i i was seeing i was like i was like haha friends is not there and then i realized wait like, no that, that's friends, why yeah friends it's not like qualifies it's not a cultural victory for you it's not yeah. a cultural victory for you it's yeah. just like i felt so upset i was like why is future rama not there then i realized future rama started just in 1999 and i'm I like soprano ah. also for that reason right yeah 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 you know what soprano should we just you should we just go through the list before we go through the list you, you were talking about yes. why it was the selected. methodology like i just want to point out the methodology of it which is basically there were 460 different shows that were voted for uh by 206 tv experts who were basically critics and journalists from around 43 countries out of which 104 were men 100 were women and two uh, identified as non binary uh, each voter listed their 10 favorite shows of the 21st century and then obviously they scored and ranked and saw which ones got like the most this thing and that's how we got the 100 series uh anurag thank you for super chat you yeah. feel like house doesn't get enough credit house was pre 2000 though right yeah yeah I, 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 it blew my mind when I found out that House was actually medical Sherlock Holmes and yes, uh, it blew my mind also to find that out. What House Holmes is House, Holmes and is I'm house. like, yes, oh, yes. oh, guys, and Wilson is Watson. Yeah, apparently. it is. It is literally so smart, so smart. Yes, well done, just But well done. Before we start, I'll have to give a big disclaimer. There are a lot of shows that we will be discussing today that I have definitely not seen. I have tried watching them, and I will give you my justifications for not watching them. But I can also know. that there are shows that i have seen which i know for a fact rohan may or may not have seen let's say sure. fingers cross let's, let's see if see, i surprise you uh, i'm sure you will i'm sure i'm, I'm sure i will so we will discuss the shows one last super chat abhishek singh meenal murali trailer was kick yes yes dude yes. what a trailer what music What a, oh no just full fields full just fields just every like the, all the fields they know how to do it they uh-huh. they know hold on, hold on. how to Real do field. it you know so i'm very very excited to watch that movie when it does come out and of course that is also a tent pole <laughs> oh, oh, oh. everything oh, is a tent pole <laughs> everything is a tent pole it's a 24 it's a christmas series hold on all right guys so, so this movie comes out on the same day as uh, spider man by the way ooh it's going to be a wild weekend wow hey man that's yeah. going to be a lot of fun going to be quite a weekend that's that's going to be a great weekend spider man and it's like i mean like just a quick this thing but i feel like it's taken like bollywood has just not nailed the superhero concept just not nailed in except for uh mart ko dard nahi hota little bit they nailed it uh, and which was the other one uh, bhavesh joshi which we had spoken bhavesh about bhavesh joshi earlier. dude bhavesh Always. joshi was great that apart from that Sorry guys, so I'm waiting for the South to finally take the reign of it. Fingers uh, crossed, fingers crossed. Shraddha, thank you so much for your super chat. And um, I'm a I'm I'm a socially anxious person, and I find pop culture to be a great icebreaker as well. So I'm glad that that's something that you've picked up. Yeah, and I encourage everybody to use it. Like one hundred percent. Yeah, it's always a great. Hey, did you see the latest show? That's it. it bam! Conversation started. If you don't yeah, know exactly. anything about the show, which exactly. I do a lot, just go like, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that oh, episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> like Norm Macdonald has that great joke, no? Where he's like a topic, and he like somebody says, "Oh, what do you feel about Liberace or whatever?" And huh. then he's like, "Oh yeah, Liberace." No, like, what do you feel about Rembrandt? And go, oh yeah, Rembrandt. Uh, Hang on, I gotta go take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> he 
and we keep it for 30 minutes which is exactly what's going to happen today chat also f- sorry league league also feel free to let us know your shows and let us know whether you agree or yes. disagree with our opinions now i'm going to quickly switch to the list uh, the list display i gadeva there we go the list displayed over here these are the top 10 these are the top 100 shows listed by the bbc yes. as ron said yes. uh, it's a collated list the top 10 is uh, let's just go through the top 10 number 1 all time is the wire it's this is like the thing with the wire is it's one of those things where it's like really all lists are about 2 to 100 really right like i don't think i've seen a single list where people are like mm, i think the wire is the 14th best show of all time never never in my life never in my life So this is where we drop the bomb straight away. I have not I, seen I, I, them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not enough capes. Not enough capes. Not enough capes. Uh, not enough capes. I uh, have tried three times. I tried, and unfortunately, the first episode, I presume, it's just it's it's shot so grainy, right? It's two thousand, and yes, they want to do the undercover footage and all. So I'm like. one day i will sit and commit because if there is one person who literally loses his shit over the wire it's azim like it's every day no, it's the wire the wire the it's wire it's astonishing it's astonishing all right so a couple of things one recommendation is i would say watch the show at night okay. uh, because like you said there is a lot of sort of pre hd pre 4k night yeah. shooting etc all of yeah. that and if you're trying to watch with even some ambient daylight stuff some stuff can be hard with screen reflection etc the other thing is abandon all your sort of ideas of what a conventional narrative should be in terms of every episode is not going to end on some sort of cliffhanger or aha like climax resolution every this thing uh sometimes things are not going to resolve it's the closest thing you can come or that is the closest thing you can get to a documentary that's just been filmed using actors so the general principle of it if you haven't seen it is it's about the drug it's about the war on drugs mm-hmm. in baltimore uh, mm-hmm. i think it's by david simon and he basically rules this list all right mm-hmm. he's got treme also on this list he's got uh, the wire also on this list uh, so he he's owning this list uh, so the way it works the show is every season sort of looks at a different aspect of the street level war on drugs and this mm-hmm. is and and the brilliant thing about the show is it humanizes both sides Hmm. It's like here are the cops with their backs against the wall in an extremely stupid, pointless war. All hmm. right, and on the other hand, here are these dealers. Here's this entire ecosystem. Not even like here's literally this entire biodome of people who have for multiple reasons. Like let's face it, this is a show about basically what the war on drugs has done to black people. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. on a in in a in a nutshell, that's what this is about. This is about what the war on drugs has. done to black communities and essentially how black communities have organized themselves around after during before the war on drugs so season 1 is about very much street level like literally what happens on the corners etc all of that season 2 takes a sort of zooms out a bit and looks at how the drugs come in through the port etc all of that season 3 deals with this one police captain who's like what if i make one street like an amnesty street and try like an outreach program and maybe that will help this thing season 4 looks at what happens when these drugs enter the school system Season five looks at what happens like when the press tries to cover these drugs, and here's what that gets wrong. And through it all, it's this one cast of characters that's at the center of it. No, I've, I've, I've heard, I've dealer. read up about the wire. I've been very fascinated to start it, and you know, like it's it's great when you see like there is like especially with shows like this where you know, okay, okay, you know, okay, I know that all the episodes are there, so it's not even like I'm waiting for an episodic basis to watch the show. Nothing. So I was actually super keen to like check it out. It's the same thing, right? It's just that. you need to be in the right state to sort of get into a show yeah, like that yeah, like yeah. you can't just randomly say okay today i'm going to watch the like certain shows you have to really be in that state to okay i want to watch fiction or i want to watch fantasy you know i'm in the fantasy mood let's watch some fantasy so wire will definitely be checked out so according to you wire deserves to be number 1 and i'm telling you right now that like while you're watching that show i'm telling you i'm warning you right now like you will never be happy in the duration of your watching the wire all right you will not it won't matter like tere ko pata chala tere ko like netflix pe like anthony jaisalnik ke sath special mila hai tere ko jo bhi you will if during that five seasons you will never be happy like you will never ever i watched all of season 2 when i had a 103 degree malarial fever like 102 103 degree malarial fever and i still remember it as being one of the most nightmarish fever dreams of my life where i'm watching it and i'm just like where does the pain end like what in addition to physical hell what emotional hell am i also being put through um with this show and it it doesn't care it doesn't care what your narrative expectations are it doesn't care it's like life it'll disappoint you when it wants to 
it will give you mild happiness once in a way but by and large think of the worst thing that can happen to any character that you love before the show is over that something worse than that will have happened to that character and the show will just leave you with the message of this is life theek hai i have been sold what it looks like i have been sold i have had way too many people talk about the wire i have seen way too many lists about the wire way 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 too many lists articles like you know it's one of those things where everyone's like bro it is so good why are you it's not and i'm like wire. ha ha dekhenge dekhenge Yeah, I don't know. Like Halbe says, the best thing about the wire is Dominic Cooper finessing us all with his American accent. Like you watch it, and he plays like this Baltimore, like American cop, and you think that this guy is American, right? Oh yeah, yeah, and you think this, but he's not even slightly American. <laughs> and he's every single dude. There's an entire scene, all right. This I'm sure you've seen this on YouTube, etc. There's one iconic scene where these two cops investigating a crime scene, and it's like a two-three minute scene, all right. and the only word they say in that scene is the word fuck like it's ah. just the word fuck said different ways like one guy looks at a body and he's like fuck and another guy looks at him and goes fuck 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 you know stuff and and two and it is one of the most short dropingly amazing scenes like ever and they sell I, i'm going to stop i'm going to stop otherwise it's going to be the 95 it's fine it's fine it's fine i get it i get it see see i again like i knew that this would happen with certain shows on this list which is why i gave it it's like it's the same thing right if you gave me a show that i really have loved and th- which is not on this list which i will mention also i will go on ranting raving about it saying wow why why are people not watching the genius of this show yeah. so i absolutely understand so you think why i should be number 1 I you know what I think why I should be number 1 but while we're on the subject I am going to digress a little bit to go to another show that I feel belongs up there with the wire okay and that is at 55 which is the shield all right like the shield is it's not at all like the wire all right let me put it that way but it's this fx show which is about it's about the streets of LA and what it's like to be a cop in that and it's about within that this one team of basically what is supposed to be like the strike team like mm. the special team where the rules don't apply to you etc this that whatever and it just starts with these this group of cops started to make bad decisions within that street level policing system and that started to spiral out of control and it's just like imagine like the most depressing brooklyn 99 you can imagine like imagine the worst the most nightmarish darkest timeline brooklyn 99 Yeah, but I think yeah. like that's the thing, right? Like we have very few shows. Like the thing with cop shows, and like when you have when you think about NCIS and all of that, you know, you still you show the little bit of grittiness. But no, I no, dude. Wire and Shield are gritty, gritty. You know. Like, and you know what? If like hmm. Wire is gonna take you a while to get into, I would say start with the Shield because okay. the Shield, unlike the Wire, it's a little more narrative. Like in the sense that it's a little more of a show show. Like it's got a few more conventional dramatic arcs or whatever. But it's one of those shows. It's the simplest explanation I can give you is that it's like the wire meets Breaking Bad. Hmm. It's like what if this horrible Milo of already bad policing, one guy went Breaking Bad. Like, yeah, you know, Ron, I'm I'm so glad we're having this chat because uh, you know, like you know, we always have unpopular opinions, and I have to, I have to, since anyways you mentioned it, I will tell you, I don't think Breaking Bad belongs on number three. I really don't. And before you, before you give me this thing, quick super chat reads, Chandrika Rao, West Wing and Downtown Abbey for me. Any opinions on this? We will let you know, Chandrika. Uh, shares have you seen over the garden wall about 110 a perfect halloween binge no we've not no, seen gonna, over the garden wall so that that's a good record that down, that and uh, last one is is curb your enthusiasm funnier than seinfeld yes it is it definitely is cuz it's the beauty of curb is that it's unscripted like it's almost like they have a skeleton script with certain scenes in which they will know yeah. that they will say xyz dialogues and then they just improvise so throughout the show you're seeing characters breaking character which is just hilarious because you think they are laughing fake laughing no but they are actually laughing as to how dumb That's hilarious and uh, it's it's a great situ it's a great show so please do watch kobe enthusiasm the latest season has just come out watch all the even i have started watching again uh, all the previous seasons oh yeah the latest season has just come out yeah Correct. season 11 and Ab- abhi they said dude chernobyl is too low yaar yes it's true but again chernobyl was just six episodes i think they must have considered yeah. shows that had a much longer arc in terms of things I'm curious why do you think Breaking Bad doesn't deserve to be at number 3 Okay This is honestly Breaking Bad okay I saw Breaking Bad when it had come out I ardently followed Breaking Bad I had seen season 1 season 2 I'm like okay then throughout I think in the middle it got a little draggy like there were these long periods where I'm like okay just 
get on with the story come on come on come on i am okay. i'm not understand i know okay. I, no no i'm kidding i'm kidding i don't know i i'm i'm whole listen when if i were to talk about some of the shows that i watch and defend them i would have a common thing as to why do you consider this content and i mm-hmm. understand that i come from that perspective i have seen That's fair. trash and i i thoroughly enjoy trash it's um, not trash if you enjoyed it yeah so like, i'll give you a great example okay I'll, since just quickly diverting have you seen this animated show called mike tyson mysteries no i have not seen mike tyson exactly. mysteries and so, i feel like i really should watch mike exactly. tyson exactly it's mike tyson there is a ghost there is a pigeon voice by norm macdonald <laughs> they amazing. are solving mysteries that's it is it. the most that's amazing obscure dumbest piece of sh- like it's it's so dumb a show but i I'm thoroughly it en- on my list yeah right now so I'm for me it it's like that right, right so like I'm not saying Breaking Bad is a terrible show. I'm not saying there are some really iconic moments from Breaking Bad, and I'm so sorry, but if you've not seen Breaking Bad, anyone in the ch- uh, league, I'm so sorry, but spoilers. There are epic moments, dude. That machine gun sequence uh, with the car when he's hiding, uh, the fact when Hank finally realizes that Walter yeah. is the bathroom sequence. There are some. Are it the Danny? What's his name? Yeah, I forget his name. Uh, what's the Mexican guy's name? Danny, long hair. Danny Trejo. Yeah. Danny Trejo. Yeah, yeah. Danny Trejo. That and yeah, yeah, yeah. I am so sorry but like the sorry I'm not saying sorry I'm saying that Gus Fring sequence is oh man when he Dude. oh comes out it just his tie camera pants so so for me the reason I feel like Breaking Bad is welcome to be anywhere it wants to be on any list is basically Gustavo Fring Mike Ermentrout um and Dude, see, like you know what? In fact, for me, like season five, yeah, the I I believe that like Ozymandias is one of the greatest episodes um, of TV ever. That's But the one with the me, bee. That's no, that's fly. Okay, the one with the fly is fly. With But the like, fly Ozymandias is, fly, is like the third, second last episode of the show, third last episode of the show, and it's it's astonishing. Like it's the greatest pre finale of all time. All right, never ever been anything like it. But, um, dude, season two, three, and four for me. I don't think I've ever felt such rising dread for a group of characters in my entire life. Like in terms of, there is no way this ends okay for everyone. Anyone, like, yeah. There is no planet, and yeah, like somebody mentioned, like I mean, Rahul Agawa, Jesse's girlfriend. Oh my god, yeah. Like that's like that, that definitive is... point of no return moment where you're like, this man cannot be redeemed. Like, this man cannot be redeemed. Like that vibe, like coming through. um straight away and just that this show can be anywhere on the list that it wants to be as far as i'm concerned but that said but see, again that, huh. no that, go on go on no that's what i'm saying now that's the that's the beauty of television right that's the beauty of any piece of fiction any piece of content yeah. i may not agree with it but like so again like us we are giving a points counter points like i'm not saying yeah, yeah, breaking course, bad breaking bad has to be part of this in fact the first top 20 i agree wholeheartedly that some of it's just like I also look at shows as how impactful has a sh- what impact the show has on pop culture, for example, right? Like the impact that Breaking Bad has on pop culture for life, you know. And it just sometimes there are moments where I will crack random Breaking Bad jokes, and nobody gets it, and it sucks. It sucks. Yeah, dude, dude, have you have you seen? You're saying pop culture. Have you seen that photo of a classroom from I don't know where somewhere in India, where there's someone actually sent a photo from a classroom. Where like it's one of those classrooms, right? You know, in classrooms you have photos of different scientists, etc., whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like Newton, Einstein, Galileo, Heisenberg. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And I want you to take a guess as to whose photo is there for Heisenberg. <laughs> like, I want you to take a guess. <laughs> like, this school has just gone. <laughs> Type it, and <laughs> it's Brian Cranston <laughs> and Heisenberg. <laughs> It's just there, uh, but while we're on Breaking Bad again, because it's connected, I just want to say, twenty uh, three pay Better Call Saul is there, yes, which I'm so fucking thrilled about because it is absurd, 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 absurd that a show can be a spin off of another show, and, and then so somehow still be sometimes some episodes like in terms of tension, man, it even beats like Breaking Bad. There are they do that entire episode in the desert. Like I don't know if you've seen the show or not. There's an episode in the desert, and by the end of it, like I felt like I had been in the desert. Like I felt like I had been 
I'm I I, I, I I know oh, I've not seen that show, but I can guarantee you I will watch it because I'm up for any content by Bob Odenkirk. Uh, he dude, he owns it so hard. He owns it so 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 hard. He's he's just he's he's legendary. Uh, I did you see by the way side note, but did you see nobody? Of course, what great fun. Yeah, and what great. There fun. is a sketch show. Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, I think it is. Was Bob Orden? No, that is Mr. Show. Bob Orden Kirk. Mr. And Bob Orden Kirk and David Cross. That is. Yeah. The weirdest sketch show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's damn bizarre. Seen. But I'm it's like, damn bizarre. But I'm like, I'm like, this is this is this is very bizarre, yeah, dude. Damn this is just bizarre. like. So like that's the thing, right? Like for me, if I were creating a list, and I I made a list by the way when we were discussing, I made a list of all the shows that I really love. Like if I'll give you, okay, let's let's open this up real quick. If there was a show, one show that you could watch again and again and again and never get tired of watching it, what would that be? One show that I could watch again and again and, and again. And league also, please give us your options. Um, that I could watch again and again and never get tired of it. Um. So weirdly enough, these are all shows that I can not watch again and again because they're just too emotionally intense, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. To watch again and again. Ah, oh, what's the show? Let me actually look on the list and see if there's a show that I could watch. I will again. also find mine on the list. It is here, uh, but it is very low down, which really hurts. Oh, I know. I, I have an answer. What is yours? I have an answer straight up. Uh, because already in like the last year, I've seen it again and again and again. Avatar. The last. I, I was. I was waiting. I. I, I was it waiting. Is, I, I knew it would come. I was just I am, sitting quietly and waiting. I am disgusted that it is at sixty-one. Like shame on everybody who made this list. And just, it is man. It's, there has. No, no. Keep talking. Keep talking. There has never been a show. There has never been a show like Avatar: The Last Airbender. Like never, ever, ever has there been a show. Like what a perfect story, man. Like what a perfect, perfect story it is. Like just, it is like man, Ang and Zuko. Like for me, oh, that characters. is what I hold in my head now. For what characters arcs need to be from start to finish, is Ang and Zuko. Where I'm like, you write a show. If you write, you need to aspire to write like the Ang and Zuko. Zuko you know, like right? the, like with Kylo Ren, they gave him the full Zuko vibe. You know, like the yeah, he's yeah, being yeah, taunted on. and Harris, and he's like, I want to prove a point, but he never quite matched up. Zuko that's is like, dude, uh, this Zuko, and uh, I think I I'm, never thought I would feel for that little shit. Like by the end of the show, but even I, is Korra here? Legend of Korra? I don't think Korra is so. not on there. Korra is not on mm. there. By the way, chat Korra is better. Korra is better. uh the office us yes for me the office us would be at the top of the rewatchability list because i have i keep fair it, i will always be like one day i'm bored of not i'm like what do i watch what do i watch i'm bored chal i'll start the office again and start to end i finish it and while it did get boring during the 8th 9th seasons the way that show wrapped up for me has to be one of the best ways a show has oh no up. it's brilliant like it's just, brilliant just it's brilliant ashutosh bojack is there Bojack and brother then Bojack are there. Band of so brothers. that it Apex has finally Apex and a bunch of people have hit the crux of the matter and we have come to my single biggest issue with, with this list. Like the most single most glaring omission on this list. Mr Robot. Mr Robot's not there. Mr oh. Robot is not on this list and that was that's the one thing I look everywhere else you know every other show I was like oh okay you know it's fine if it, it uh, oh it's not there then I see it is there somewhere on the list but Mr Robot that that is one of the most myopic decisions like ever like mr robot is a it's a revelation in every single sense of the word it is one of the most perfect shows ever made it's like it is the definitive like document of our generation in terms of everything of from side from corporations to living online to mental health to just this fucking weird matrix That, that we live in it's it's uh, so fascinating like that show i remember i was watching and i'm like oh man oh wow i love i love because it's very rare to find a show and this is what i was also like doing research on is that very rare to find a show where they do scenes where they actually know what they are talking about yeah. when they are talking about the hacking they know what they are talking about they're showing it it's like it's not just clatter clatter on the keyboard it's like they are doing it properly properly and also, that man, ending it's so it's a show that like You know, a lot of shows will like build up the stakes to a certain point at the end of one season, and then there's some sort of reset in season two. Yeah. And then this this show always follows through on its stakes, like 
always like if it raises the stakes it fucking doubles down and follows through on them like society does collapse the fucking grid does, i'm i'm going to stop i'm going to stop no no it's fine it's fine it's fine it's i just, it's fine i i get it i i if it were up to me if it were up to me mr robot up i top? would kick i would not up top but i would definitely put it in the top 10 and if there was no other space to put it i personally would kick down to nabby off this list so you are replace it with mr robot uh, let me just uh, i know this is not going to come out on the screen i'm still going to try it uh, great fantastic great you all can see me opening my yeah, docs just but all of i it. had kept it open i had kept it open but uh, okay okay so we have number 1 is the wire this is the yes. boc uh, boc official list oh i'm already on caps minank friends and shows like that are not on there cuz if it started before the year 2000 it won't be there uh we've got right. a super chat from we've got a super chat from anish yes. sani uh, we will discuss where dead devil uh, abhishek has said always bro abhishek always i'm coming to that yeah. i'm coming to that okay i'm coming to that and devesh said band of brothers we discussed okay uh, uh wire then we've got breaking bad we are up and down cuz i am disputing that number 3 was avatar right number 3 was avatar yes mr robot now i am adding my addition any day one of the best 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 outstanding show shows outstanding ever. show i have outstanding show Full i have agree. seen it so many times from i haven't finished every... it yet i'm only halfway through it but Ha? What an astonishing show! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where show. are you? I think I'm on season six or seven. How are like, you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on season six or seven, so, but it's just so good. Uh, for the people who don't know what's it's always sunny in Philadelphia, I'll quickly explain. It's always sunny in Philadelphia is a very simple premise. What if there were six friends and all of them were assholes? Simple as that. The worst of the worst of people doing the worst of the worst things to each other as well as people around them. And there are points where. You it's just there has like, never been a show about worse people. It there's, there's never. never there's never been a show about worse people. Like never, I'm watching ever. Succession right now, and I'm like, dude, these people are horrible, but it Kuch will still hai. not come close Kuch to the characters of It's Always Sunny. Another fun fact: It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia is the longest-running television sitcom at the moment. It's got 15 seasons. It's the longest-running comedy. Uh, 15 seasons. The 15th so season is coming. You're still on season six. Okay, this is. And when I was talking about shows that I go back to back, I think Ankit Agarwal had also mentioned. I go again and again and again I go back to it's always sunny it's just from a comedy perspective but more important from a character perspective to just understand how they can pull off things <laughs> without it's just it's, astonishing like they make no attempt to be like but like none it's astonishing like it this thing uh, don't you think it's repeated so my only issue with it's always sunny in philadelphia is it it's partly the same issue i have with the show archer which is that it would be nice if they whispered to each other once in a while yeah like, i mean which is right yeah. and also what happens with that show is like i said it got 15 seasons so the result of which there's some fluff in there but like you know it it's it's like south park at this point where it's like there's fluff but when they hit it out of the park when they hit it out of the park nothing functions I'll... quite like that show's right like that entire healthcare episode right uh which i think was in season 3 or 4 uh, that it's the most astonishing like 20 minute summation of the healthcare debate in america Bro, that i've seen in my entire life the satire is okay there is one episode and i'm not giving a spoiler at all i'm not giving a spoiler to you so don't hold me in spoiler court but in season 13 there is the first episode is basically they are watching tv and they get struck by lightning and they all become black people nice and they are stuck in a musical so every dialogue is a song which is firstly nice. man ah and as black people That's they hilarious. experience what black people face in america and when you watch the resolution to what they come to you're like how did they get away with this how did they That's i, amazing. I can't I believe can't that you have done something like this ah oh, i can't man. wait so yeah i can't for, wait i can't wait for me it's always sunny uh is has to be on that list let's go back speaking of it's always sunny have you seen mythic quest it's not it's a really fun show The Rob McElhenney one, na? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw, I saw three episodes, but I kind of got distracted. Like that's my problem with TV shows. I get it gets better and better. Very dist. I know. I've heard. I've heard. I've heard. So Mythic it's Quest. It's really fun. Mythic Quest has to be added to the list. Um, yes. Yes, it does. Okay, going back to our list now. I think we miss Mad Men. So yes, I enjoyed Mad Men, but again, I had, I had issues with Mad Men hmm. in the sense that um, my only my my main issue with Mad Men is that. 
it feels like it's two shows all right one is it's this fucking phenomenal show about office politics in like that era right the 50 60s 70s mm-hmm. and just how like it's absurd that things functioned at all right mm-hmm. within like whether it's like the sexual politics of it or whatever mm-hmm. right and that show is astonishing like truly astonishing it is also a really tedious and boring show about two people named don and betty draper and if they had somewhere in season 2 exploded in a giant fireball and gone away from the show nothing would matter yeah, it's like, nothing would change and the show would still be amazing which which was the which was the show recently or the movie something i i don't know where i read where the i think we were only discussing or something where the side characters are so much better than the main characters yeah. if only you gave them a chance to shine or if you only you gave them a chance to explore their stories like what yeah. am I, what was i watching i'm trying to remember but there's just this point in mad men like you know what okay fine dan draper you had a shit childhood like do fucking uh, what do you want me to say like what uh, so that just what is this like what you're a bad childhood so you can just like what fuck yeah. people like what is I, the moral of this story exactly yeah. like, like i don't understand what is this so uh, okay uh, but yeah so right? yeah just, i don't think mad men guys uh, it's that i high. would not put it at number not that i thought that there were there were astonishing things about that show there are times where like it's just like that entire episode and that scene where like they drive that fucking lawn mower over that guy's foot is just one of the funniest fucking things i've seen in my like it comes out of nowhere like nowhere 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 and that's what great. i'm saying three shows in the top 10 i have not seen and i have tried my best to get into it but it's just you know it's also with sometimes it shows you also have that fuck there are 10 seasons of this uh, <laughs> when do i start when do i start eventually i will start eventually i will start till yeah. then let's go back to watch it's another <laughs> it's always sunny it's- Uh, Danny DeVito <laughs> as Frank, best character ever played. Oh hell yeah, Danny so DeVito good. is the best. Boston so Legal good. needs to be there purely for James Spader monologues. I don't think Boston oh. Legal is here. No, and no. I'll just do a quick search for some of the other things. Death Note is not there. Uh, none of the animes oh. are there, by the way. Death Note is not no. there. Attack on Titan is not there. Which no. Attack which on Titan is a huge miss. Listen, huge miss. Attack Would you on Titan is put Attack episode. on Titan on your top ten? Would you put Attack on Titan? Depends. I might put it in my top twenty. I don't know about my top ten. I put it in my top twenty for sure. Uh, it's just it. It's fucking fantastic. Right? It's like it's one of the shows where like I very rarely watch anime. Like I've seen and uh, man, I burned through it. I like burned through it. Literally it, burned through it. It's. the music the 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 the, the way Everything. it's shot i wanted an omnidirectional uh, glider just so oh, that i course. could swing of across course. the building randomly there I'll, i'll watch an instagram reel and someone will put a photo of captain levi and i'm like yeah i crush on him yeah. that yeah, guy oh, 100%, is yeah 100% 100% bad ass levi is the man and levi is the man if only we could just remove same thing If only you could remove Aaron Yeager from the Aaron! picture. Aaron! <laughs> Aaron! Something's gone wrong. I just got a shout for party family. Just oh, get the every the every episode. No, because that's not what they want to do. Oh, oh, I'm like please. <laughs> <laughs> <Just, laughs> crash YouTube. <coughs> <laughs> uh, that has to be the best Attack on Titan <laughs> like recap ever. Last week on Attack on Titan. Tatakai, tatakai, tatakai. Oh God. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, just a quick pause. We started off with a very simple number of hundred and two hundred. Now we are at five eighty. Fuck yeah! I love it, guys. Everybody do who it, is watching, it. thank you so much. Do this. Smash it. Smash, it. smash, smash, smash the like button. Smash the like button. The bow, the bow, the bow, the bow, the bow. And also, also, also. Now if we want three hundred extra people, it's a proper pyramid scheme. Take this link. Send it to your friends. Tell them Sahil and Rohan are live discussing the best shows that they've seen. You can't miss this. It is the best thing ever. Spam people. Let's bring this number up. 
and let's go for it uh so people- whatever the fuck i just did for the last 3 minutes has resulted in zoom literally sending me a pop up saying would you like to set up professional audio <laughs> <laughs> audio set <laughs> oh, you know the, the thing is right the thing that made me laugh so much was not the fact that you were screaming but the fact that your body started going god <laughs> god into character man like i got into that shit <laughs> oh god what a great uh, show those man. okay oh, uh, astonishing show astonishing show we uh, are back to the top 10 top 10 we discuss mad men now we have flea bag outstanding i don't Has know what else is there to say in the sense that it's iconic it's great it's um it's perfectly written uh i i think two of the finest seasons of tv and like, that's it ever. just two and that's it just two this is my story just that's two that's it and sometimes you see the subtle like uh, guys don't spam we will talk about your shows also harsh calm down calm down calm down yeah wow harsh relax harsh was like oh look at money look at money look at i'm some like i'm sitting i'm sitting serious like we'll discuss we'll discuss yeah really yeah 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 but uh, fleabag just hot priestess love pokraj yes i agree man yeah man i would have nailed in that moment i i i would have to i would have nailed af hey you want me fine take take me take me i am i am very like open you know i'm like please some characters are like aaja aaja hold on don't forgive me father don't forgive me don't i have sinned don't forgive it's okay so flee back definitely guys if you have not seen it please watch it for fin fantastic writing and as usual character development game yeah. of thrones main nikalne wala hu for season 8 uh, for season 8 for season 8 you know what you eight. can go hang out in like the 50s you can go hang out in the 50s yeah. like somewhere in the low 50s you right? were a great show you had my love you had my attention that i remember the first you time you had the world yeah you had the w- name one pop culture property that has died so suddenly name one name one that died overnight imagine going from the single biggest you know like like there had never been a show like it in terms of the entire world going ape shit for it and somehow it died overnight like even the lost show runners were high fiving going we are so fucking off the hook like once and for all no one will ever mention us again when they, they talk about they bad just, endings they, they literally took like i remember like i think like season 8 they were like ah okay what do we do what do we do ah okay uh, what is this starbucks uh-huh. cup uh-huh. fuck it fuck it fuck it uh-huh. fuck it people won't care uh-huh. uh-huh. bisleri bottle fuck it fuck it doesn't care uh, what else what else what else can we what did you say brand stuff what brand eh, fuck stuff, it fuck huh? it fuck. Dale, like, dale, what, dale. Dale. the guy who two episodes ago said he can't be anything or anything or any lord oh. understood 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 understood, oh, understood. guys game game why you did this why uh, sopranos black adder and kobe kobe and through the other is on the list piyush sopranos and black adder don't qualify cuz it's the 21st century yeah movie. even i was thinking of shows that movie. came out they only are 2000 onwards uh, seinfeld yeah. has to be the greatest show yes of course it is again not on the list because not the 21st century lots of people rapping a show called kick batowski which yeah. as i found out is an animated show I Kick have Patowski's heard of Kick Patowski. Suburban Daredevil. It's on Disney Plus right now, apparently. We will check it out. So we will check it out. There have you go. seen I May Destroy You? I have seen I May Destroy You. Great it's, show. It, it's a great show. It's heartbreaking. Again, I don't know if it's top ten, but it is astonishing. It is genuinely good. Genuine. It's like a little heartbreaking to like talk about. Yeah. Uh, but I can't. I can't argue with like the show being on the list, like for sure. But we won't put um, it in top ten, right? We. I. I wouldn't put it in the top ten. but it's a really good show. Okay. Uh Leftovers again astonishingly good show and this is little I'm going to brag here uh, guys yesterday uh, last spoke. week I did a panel yes. with Tom Perotta yes. writer of the Leftovers yes. he's a really chill guy uh and uh, yeah, yeah, no brag no brag uh, no big um so the Leftovers is a fucking fantastic show. Like again I don't know if it's top 10 or not but it's one of those shows where season 1 it starts and it's decent right it's beholden to the books and all of that. Then in season 2 and 3 it goes somewhere else and it's just Uh, this and six feet under are the two greatest examinations of grief, like ever, like ever, ever. They're fucking astonishingly done examinations of grief. It's like, almost like it's almost like the blip sort of things, right? Where people disappear overnight. Yeah, sort yeah, of. yeah. They see it, it's essentially what it's essentially the the rapture, like what the Christian books call the rapture, like the version of that, where basically yeah, a bunch of people bounce and are sort of taken to heaven. You could argue. Um, and it, this is literally about the leftovers, about the people mm, mm. who are All left there. Back. Yeah, it's like imagine an entire show about the five years between Infinity War and Endgame, which will definitely right. be coming I mean, at any of point time. of time. It's matter definitely time, going know? to be coming. We'll so. talk about this on our Disney Plus episode, <laughs> yeah. Disney Plus Day episode on November twelfth. <coughs> Excuse um, me. 
but uh, yes which okay. brings us to at number 8 a show that i am real i would not have expected this to be in the top 10 but this is one of those shows where Great if i show. catch you at a party i will sit you down and be like please watch this show the americans um matthew reese and kerry russell do this show was robbed and ignored at every fucking emmy golden globe this thing and it's a mess like that this is not like that enough people have not seen this show of course like, it's one of those things where like everyone should watch the americans like what a show and again one of those shows that it does not let you down at the end it follows through on all its stakes it is astonishing underrated actor i feel matthew reese underrated Dude, so actor good. like he's he, so good i saw i've seen only season 1 by the way and i've just been like i love this Dude, guy it's it's I, like season 1 is like it's beginning ha huh. like it from there where to where it goes now oof oof like just i get goosebumps thinking about the show done americans americans for goosebumps level has been added uh there is another quick chat which someone has mentioned sagar l and also someone else also mentioned which i have to definitely talk about which has to be for me unfortunately uh sagar l definitely utopia the original british version Beautiful. season 1 mm. it's on the list though right is utopia here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's on the list. It's somewhere in the ah. It's seventy-four. Man, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Utopia just. Man, what a show! That music. Ah, the music has come to my head like immediately. That like, sir, you're boom, 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 boom. There is Jessica so Hyde. Oh But man. Season two kind of just sort of let me down. You know, like season, season one, one was perfect. Season two was okay. Season one was such an epic. epic show like if 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 i were to rate yes. shows and give them just by season season 1 has to be one of the tightest seasons of a show i've ever seen Dude. from start to end you have no Those idea guys, what is happening rb and the other guy like what's his name oh so oof, good oh so good so good forget so good. that the color palette the the colors yes. the the, the yes. The, I know they wanted to go with the comic book feel, but that yellow suit when he comes out of the green ah yeah 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 so cool that show was so and but you know what they needed one more season to wrap it up properly and then they got cancelled and hmm. that was sad yeah that's they had a lot to say and they tried with the American but yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Then, no, no 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 someone has also mentioned <coughs> okay Hannibal Hannibal what about Hannibal, Hannibal? Is great Hannibal is great it's very trippy. It's but, very twisted and it's great, but not top ten. Not top ten for me. No, Hannibal is not top ten for me. Not for me. For sure, it's a beautiful show. Definitely deserves to be on this top hundred. Madge Mikkelsen is no, fucking astonishing. It's really, really good. Dark is on the list, guys. Ishan Gupta, Dark is on the list. I would, I would be having a much louder shit fit if Dark was not on this list. Like, <coughs> but Dark Dream would just be me. Dark is one of the shows. Choose where... your next words very carefully, Sahil Shah. Look, Dark. is one of those shows started watching okay i want to know what is happening half way through watching okay i'm i'm interested i'm interested i'm interested midway through what is happening <laughs> ah it's very simple sahil when is mikel and then a bunch of people go into this thing and then one guy happens to be the other guy and know, turns man. out that he's his own father and then he's actually I not know. his own father and, and it was all created what, because there was each one trying to find another's father and then there's good and evil just, and there's two universes just <laughs> So you know what? If you ever get confused, the great thing about Dark is uh, there are great season by season recaps. For whenever you get confused, too, there's a website where you can literally go and like click according to what season you're on, and it will tell you what the timeline tree is at that point. Without giving you spoilers, if you ever get dark, dark blew my mind. Like in terms of, and I say blew my mind in a way where I was like, I have no idea what I'm watching. I have no and I, uh, guys, where is who is who? Where is I get? It's it's one I, of those it's one of those shows which for me it's like very like it's one of those shows that gets time travel almost perfectly right. Like in the sense that I mean, not that there is a perfectly right. It's fucking time travel, but like it's as I I look at it, I'm like, there's no flaw. in this in this show sort of circular logic or whatever they have thought through every goddamn thread and yeah, this thing it's that primer level when when like, it got wrapped up i'm like well done well done yeah, yeah, very yeah, yeah. beautiful fucking satisfying one of the most satisfying endings okay supremely satisfying so there are a lot of show recommendations coming uh, i mean there are two which i'm going to pick up from these uh, real quick one is definitely which i feel should be uh, weep 
Veep is on the list, not Veep 24. Veep is on the list, but it's not high up. I feel Veep okay. should be a little higher. Veep can definitely go a little higher, for sure. That that writing is... I'm just putting Veep now. We can we will yeah. last minute figure. Veep is definitely a great show. Please watch Veep if you haven't seen. And 100%. Which was the one, uh, which was the one we were talking about? Uh, 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 yeah, the guys. Americans? Have you seen Barry? Of course I've seen Barry. Barry is freaking fantastic. Man. Barry is... Man, I did not know Bill Hader had that in him, right? Like, if if I could rate a show, like put it in a list for a character, <clears throat> just for Noho Hank, I will put it up top. I will put it right up top for You're a show. You're a cool guy, that Barry. Just... You're a cool, yeah, I'm a cool guy, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> man. And Fuchs and all the characters, like, man, Barry is great. So we are almost now. We have randomly added. We'll again rearrange our list. Uh, there is just one more echo which is coming, which is coming again and again. And also, I'd like to clarify up top when I said someone, my wife Meghna. What said does Hannibal. Meghna recommend? Meghna said Hannibal. She came okay. in. She came in. How dare you call me someone? I'm like, okay, fine. I will clarify. Fair, okay, fair, you're fair, not fair, someone. Fair, <laughs> fair, fair, fair. But yeah, fair, she fair, loves fair. Hannibal for Mads. Mads, she has a big hardcore but crush Mads on Mads. How Mads is, not have a crush on Mads? Mads is great. Mads is, I just made her watch Casino Royale because I'm like, please, look at Mads. My, Mads my is relationship, amazing. My relationship with Mads is like John Oliver's relationship with Adam Price. <laughs> like, yeah, I look at Mads Mickelson and I'm like, crush my throat, you immovable shed. <laughs> <coughs> the Office US. I feel it's disappointing that if we are coming to this list, The Office UK is here. No. No. You know, The Office UK is also amazing. What are you talking I about? I know, I know, and I know the it was the... of everything, two perfect seasons. It gave us Martin Freeman. It gave us Mackenzie Crook. It gave us... Um, what's Ricky fucking Javis. David Brent's name? Ricky Javes. There we go. It gave us Ricky Javes. It gave us The Office US. Uh, it gave us many things. I know it did. I know, <laughs> and I know, like, look, I'm a purist, right? There is a show which I, I love. I love British television. Uh, uh, there are shows which I have seen, like, in terms of... Okay, I'll give you two recommendations before we continue. Have you seen the show called Misfits? Yes, of course. Fantastic superhero show. Blew my mind. Time travel, superheroes, everything. So well done. IT Crowd. Have you seen IT Crowd? Of course. Fanta- See, these are shows Dude, that... in between us. Oh, yes. Oh, in yes. Oh, just which would get cancelled if it came out today. But 100%, 100%. in between us, uh, in between us for sure... All of this is not like... That's what I'm trying to say, right? I will always choose the British version over the American version. They have made American versions of all of these. And it sucks. But the Office... No, no, I'm American, with you on this. The Office, the American version is far superior to the UK version. But I also feel like it's okay for the UK version to be on. Is the Office US not on this list? Surely Office it? US is there, but it's... Uh, Office... One minute. Office US on this list is much lower. It's on 39. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's on 39. Uh, chat, better call Saul is better than Breaking Bad. Yes, Parks and Rex people have recommended. Of course, Dude, Parks and Rex would also show. be there. I would say if, if we are going, if we are writing Office, then it's Office slash Parks and Rec. Because that's yeah, almost sure. the same shared Fair. universe. You Fair, know? I mean, and it, and it gave us, uh, <coughs> of course, Mr. Um, I only hate two things. Lying and skimmed milk. <laughs> because skimmed milk is just milk that lies. Takes the Mr. Computer, Ron Swanson throws it in the garbage. Mr. Yeah. Ron Swanson, dude, <laughs> yeah, come like, on. Ron Swanson there is, is a... there is another show that I noticed in the 30s that if I could, I would push up. Yes, um, for sure. And that is Fargo. I knew, I knew. I was going through the 30s, and I'm like, what would you go for? And Fargo. I real- you went for Fargo. See, it, you know, I realized. By the way, there is a very great. Uh, running theme as to the shows that you're choosing and the shows that I am choosing. Actually, holy shit. Because the these are kind of tight. Man. I will go for Arrested Development. Yeah, that's why I just saw Arrested also. But you know what? Arrested Development, they fucked it up with the Netflix season. Ah, like, again, I'm not counting the... If, if you're like... The I revival mean, at all. Like only the original run. The like, original run. But also the original run is one of the shows where for <clears throat> anyone who wants to get into Arrested... The sad part with that show is that it's not a show that you can randomly watch one episode and you're like, and watch the whole great. story. You have to see the full story to get all the hidden jokes. Like even the callbacks, dude. I've never seen a show do callbacks like that. Like Man, beyond I... a point, like the entire second half is just a bunch of callbacks. Everything <laughs> is linked <laughs> to everything, and it's, yeah. it's just that they have thought that through throughout. You know, so it's just again one of those pieces of perfect writing, right? There's always money in the banana stand, where it's like. 
okay this is how you write yeah yeah this is how you write there there, there is one call back where they are like they, they say they are living in a rented house and you know it looks like it's a house from a set and then a season later he opens the cupboard and it's a prop cupboard you know and i'm like <laughs> they thought this through for a full through and through fledged season uh, through and through chat through is through. what a great show so okay so i'm i'm still listing it down over here just because we want to we have and the 30s are very tight they've got band of brothers also and fargo we can kick down to nabia yeah yeah nahi nahi chahiye british no get there they give like some cheese chit but my, you know you know it's so weird because the th- if you think the 30s are great the 40s are even better Oh holy shit! Peep show, peep show, ask peep show and community. So, so these are the two shows that I've batted for in my life. I've kept it written here in my notes, and these are the two shows that I'm batting hard for. Um, and those two shows are uh, peep show and community deserve to be higher. Like I, I in my humble opinion, peep show and community deserve to be higher. Peep show is like, just it's. Again, like I, I keep on like I know, and because I'm so hardcore comedy, I love shows that just break the mold with how they are going to do things. Dude, you know how they are going to. Peep show gave us David Mitchell, man. Like, yeah, come on, like, come on. Uh, like, Peep show. So okay, if we have to choose between say so Peep show and Community, I would right? choose. Because, ooh, very tight. Ah, uh, if we have to choose, I would. My vote would still go for Peep show. My vote go to Community. Ah. Because I've never seen a show just like man. I mean, you think Rick and Morty is meta? Like it, nothing starts of without course, community, of course, right? Of like course, in the of sense course. that, like that was just Dan Harmon going. You yeah, know yeah. what? Yeah. All sitcom premises are basically shelves for anything and everything to happen, and I have this amazing cast, and we can do anything. And it's fantastic story circle. And That's where it all started. I'm <clears throat> just gonna go ape shit with this and. Man, like I remember, I will never forget the day I saw that first paintball episode. Like I remember what the weather felt like on my skin the day I saw that first paintball episode. When what is this show really? Was was that the one where uh, what's his name Chevy Chase wears that pillow pillow the pillow monster and comes running? No, that was a pillow fight one, na. That was a pillow fought one. That was a pillow fought one. That was the pillow fought. One. This is the one where um, Chang comes in like uh, this guy from Hard Boiled. um uh, he comes in like uh, fuck what's his name chow yun fat ha huh. basically he comes in with those full guns like chow yun fat oh, that's man. the episode so com- community and peep show community yes away. as nicholas points out community gave us the mcu yes yes that's where we get the russo brothers from yes from uh, community that's a fun fact if you guys didn't know before they were directing these hardcore this thing they were directing episodes of community and all community characters all of them have had a cameo yes. Yes. in the uh, the marvel movies so yes, you'll see all yes. of them i think except britta most of them have had and chevy chase most of them have had yeah, yeah, this yeah. thing um, in marvel movies shirley was in uh, in end game yes uh, abed was in winter soldier i think this one was in uh, chang was also there chang was also there correct he the, was security guard at the start of end game yeah the principal is meeting iron man backstage in civil war yeah uh, troy is there as uh, in troy is there in spider man Uh, yes. When is, is Joel the security McHale guard? Then? I don't think I. I'm trying to remember. I think I saw. I think Joel McHale would have come for sure. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Some great British records, by the way. Spaced crashing. Spaced is great. Yeah, fantastic. Crashing okay. is also great. Uh, okay. One show I'm going to mention. Twenties underrated should be in this list. It's not at all. It just sucks and it hurts my feelings. People just do nothing. People just do nothing is fun. People just do nothing is fun. It's fantastic. But should it be on this list? Should it be on the list of the top hundred shows of the twenty first century? I will vouch for it. I you will vouch. I will like vouch. People just do nothing. I will vouch. I will yes. vouch for that show. I have. I I I put all my time and energy making sure that people know that there is a show called In Terms of Mockumentary. People just do nothing, which is just so corrupt FM. Dumb. Corrupt so, FM. Chabadi ji. That's it. Chabadi ji, dude. Where the G stands for Chabadi ji. I mean, some yeah, of the just... lines in that show are just laugh out. Ah. Astonishingly funny. But ah. I still, I don't know. Like in the sense, like, hey, is Dairy Girls on this list? Hmm. Let us see. Let us see. And if Dairy see. Girls is not on this list, then I would give the people just do nothing slot to Dairy Girls. Like Dairy Girls is not on this list. Ooh. Hey, Dairy Girls should be on this list, man. Dairy Girls is a really good show. So I'll tell you what, okay? If we keep talking, we'll keep going on. So should we like stop at maybe thirty? 
Yes, we can stop at 30. We'll stop um, at 30. We have slot number 9 in the top 10 still open, by the way. Uh, which will bring me... Let's quickly go through the first top 10 list. Succession. Succession, one second. This is in the original top 10 list? In or? the original top 10 list, top 10 is Succession. So, in our list... Top I, feel like, I feel like there's some recency bias here. Yeah. Because it's a relatively new show. But it is a fantastic show. Oh, like I, So far, I don't think that show has had a single bad episode. I've just started watching it and I'm like, bro... Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I never... Oh, in that case, this is the only opportunity I'll get to use it on you. Fuck off! <laughs> After, like after a point of time, I just want to start sitting. You know, I want to sit like Rome, you know, like just like, mm, yeah, just sit yeah, like that yeah. everywhere and just be like, yeah, hey, what's up? Hey, everybody. Great, what? great, Go what on. a great show. I have oh, been... you're just getting, you haven't even gotten to the fun shit yet. You've just started, right? For the first time. Yeah. Oh, buddy. I know, I know. There's a lot. There's a lot oh, left. Buddy. I know, I know, I know. Rishikesh, yes, Halt and Catch Fire is also on the <coughs> fantastic show. Um, if you haven't seen it, very, very good. Okay, show. would you put this on top 9? Now we are fighting for no, top 9. No. Would you put wait, you Sherlock? I would not. One sec. Let me look at the whole list. All right. Wait, 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 wait. What do we got so far? We've put in... Where's our list? Where's our list? Our list is here. Uh, we've got Wire, Breaking Bad, Avatar, Mr. Robot, It's Always Sunny, Fleabag, Americans, The Office, Slash, Park and Rec. Actually, top 10, Barry can come down to 11. 9 and 10. We Barry have two can. slots free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have six more. Chat, we'll finish it off, guys. We'll do it. Uh, chat is like, Family Guy, Family... Dude, Family Guy? Yes, 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 yes. Fam yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, great and all. But like... Yeah, take it. Take it again. If you're um, Bojack is there, Bojack you would put. Bojack would, should be there. Bojack should be there. Uh, Adventure Time. I'm sorry, but Adventure Time is also not. On Adventure this Time list. is outstanding, but Adventure, Adventure Time over Bojack. I have my preferences, like I said. Hey, yeah. You know what? You know uh, what? I would not mind giving that ninth spot to just because I genuinely think it's way too low on this list and. Let's face it, man. Like, every one of us has watched this show and felt a million different emotions. And it's also one of the hardest undertakings, I think, in the history of television. Okay. Planet Earth cannot be at 73. I refuse to believe that Planet Earth and Planet Earth 2, which I would combine, they cannot be at 73. Mm. Like, they are... Like, man, they are astonishing. Like, Attenborough is, like... He's max old. <gasps> Doctor Who also, as Shreyank mentioned, but technically can't be on the list. Doctor Who has been going before. on for a... So again, guys, Forever. people who are sending records, please remember, this is stuff that has started in 2000. Uh, I'll just quickly answer a few questions. Okay, first one. For everybody who is saying you, 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 and Arya has constantly been saying you. Uh, you season one, okay. You season two, okay. You season three, really fuck all. Please stop mentioning it. It's quite a trashy show. Uh, you go. I am so sorry to drop that bomb on you, Arya. No, 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 no. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Then Dexter. Because Dexter has been coming a lot. Dexter, Dexter yeah, Dexter only same. till season four. Then, Everything after uh, Trinity Killer is like maximum cliff jump. Like yeah. there's jumping the shark and then there's what Dexter did. Uh, like, Sopranos. Black Mirror you missed. What about Black Sopranos Mirror? Sopranos can't be on this list. It started in 99. Black Mirror? Do you think Black Mirror would... I think Black Mirror should get... Like it's one of those Black shows Mirror that's... Black Mirror should be in the top Blown my sure. mind. I for feel. sure, for like, sure. Like it's, it's, sure. it's changed my life also in terms 100%. of the... 100%. So we have a top 10 list ready right now. Very interesting. Let me just quickly check my list of what I had made and see if there is anything that I have not... <gasps> okay, I'm going to mention one show. It's underrated okay. and I feel... It's not getting the recognition it deserves and nobody talks about it. It is a show called, have you, Man Seeking Woman. I have not seen Man Seeking Woman. Yes, I knew it. I would find one show. I would. I have not seen Man Seeking Woman. Okay, I will quickly explain the premise for everybody okay. who is watching. I love comedy and I love obscure comedy. I love comedy that goes, and when I say obscure, I've seen Eric Andre's show. I've seen Tim and, uh, Tim and Eric, awesome show, great job. I've seen all of that. Man Seeking Woman, very simple premise. It's a guy who wants to navigate the dating world, but all normal dating situations are exemplified into crazy over exaggerated situations. So I'll give you nice. two examples. One is he meets this girl and he wants to send her a message. Cut huh. to there is a war room and all the generals are like, what should we send? She sent a reply <laughs> and the scientist is pointing to the board. Statistics say that if you reply yes instantly, that means you show approval. Nice. That way, you know, it's an nice. exaggerated version. On one full episode, this guy goes for his ex-girlfriend's wedding. She's getting married. <laughs> She's getting married in hell. Nice. To Hitler. Of course. Of course. Of and course. Hitler is played by Bill Hader. I mean... That's hilarious. And so... 
<laughs> he's gone to hell to attend the wedding. So they showed the, an escalator from Earth all the way down to hell, and they check into a hell hotel, and there is a That's hell set. Hilarious, man! This show is it's just. I, I'll give you one last That's one. That's very funny. To pimp the show out because for me this is the love I have for the show. It again, he likes this girl. This girl says that one day my my one of my really close friends is coming and he wants to stay with me. And he's like he and she's like yeah, but trust me, he's not a threat. And when they reveal the close friend, it is an octopus with penises as tentacles who just nice. goes tanaka tanaka tanaka, and that's it. Okay, and it navigates nice. how he gets jealous of a penis monster. Just please that's watch. That's hilarious. It, please, that's hilarious. It has to be. I don't know why it's not there. Okay, there's a lot of chatter for Sopranos coming. But Sopranos was 1999, guys. It started before. Otherwise, Sopranos would be top of this list. Silicon Everybody Valley agrees with this. Silicon Valley, fun and all, but again, I don't know if it's top hundred material. Hmm. I don't know if it's top hundred. Oh, someone saying Barry's on our list twice. Uh, At eleven and on eighteen. Oh, sorry. So that Barry will be removed. Thank you so much for bringing that, that to our notice. So eighteen has been. We have five more. Five more left. Come on. We have five more. Let's nail this list. I think we've got a great list. <coughs> okay, let's go through uh, the list real quick. Okay, because okay, the twenty one that I would hundred percent remove from this list. Like it's it's galling that it's on this list. Um, like it's literally like who the fuck made this list level? This thing is why is Westworld on this list? Hey, Westworld was really good, yeah. What nonsense! One season was good. Everything else was nonsense. Two and have you seen season three? <laughs> yeah, it's. Have uh, you seen season three? It, it's like I, what gray mirror, white mirror, <laughs> white Aina. What is it like? It's like they literally just like, hey, if we get Aaron Paul on the show, everyone will think we're cool. Story body, कुछ नहीं है. Uh, लेकिन इन डाल देते. Season three was the entire Japanese this thing, ना, which they explored. And partly for like two episodes or mm. something like that. Like, mm. just no, just नहीं. Okay, two more Never. names I'm going to list because people are losing the shit over it and. Succession, make na succession is on the list. We've put it. Uh, succession <laughs> is added on thirteen. Uh, two more shows: uh, Mentalist and Mind Hunter. Oh, Mind Hunter, great show. Mind Hunter, sure, mm. sure, but top hundred. No, in our top thirty list. Top thirty, or what? We are doing a top thirty. Hey, no, no. If we're doing a top thirty, then I would like to bat for whatever people say about the ending. Lost. Lost. it's there because it brought this idea of everything that we're doing today including streaming about this talking about this none of it happens without loss yeah, yeah all right in 2003 if loss doesn't come out and the entire internet and this is before binging this means religiously for 6 years week on week when the show was on we all poured onto the internet and went right what did that purple light in the sky mean yeah wh- Stop, why stop everybody why is smoke right coming what is smoke please what, can someone explain what is happening in this show why there in island <laughs> why what was on the back of that hatch door when it shut for like 2 seconds what does 108 mean what is 48 15 16 23 40 to i do not remember any other random sequence of five digits but if you wake up and then it's like oh 15 16 23 40 2 done like oh no it's 108 what are you saying that's crazy um but yeah so lost has been added that leaves us with three slots and fun fact by the way i am going through the list okay so while uh, i'm going through the list there is one show that comes up i'll talk about it but again because i'm batting for comedy there are two shows which i will bat for in the okay. comedy department okay. Okay. uh but i'm going through down after the 40s it's like ha theek hai okay very okay okay ones uh you know you uh Mm, yeah, I'm not finding anything Ooh, significant. I know what I'd put on this list which in our one? top thirty, um, which is actually already at number twelve. I'd put six feet under on this list for sure. Have you seen six feet under? I have not seen six feet under. Dude, that show, all right? Like, it should not work. It is literally about a family that runs a funeral home. Mm. Okay, that entire show, the premise is about this family that runs a funeral home, and it starts with like the father passes away, and the son comes home to mm. sort of this. Kind of as usual dysfunctional family, hmm. and dude, what a show, man! Like as an ex- again, like I said, an expression of like death and grief, and like stuff like that. Six feet under is just, and again, it is till today considered one of the most perfect finales of all time. Six feet under like, will be six checked feet under. out. Six feet under and will be checked out. The amazing thing is every episode starts with it's almost like a random little short film of like some random person dying. Huh. Like literally, and it's essentially loosely the body that ends up on the table that week, like in their funeral mm. home or whatever. But it just starts with this little short film about how randomly people die. Interesting. 
and six then the rest, will be seen. Six feet under, and then the rest of the episode just focuses on this family. And it's bizarre, like sometimes the dead talk. The guy from like Dexter is in Six Feet Under, na? Ma- Dude, yeah, yeah, lots of great, like the cast is outstanding. Yeah, yeah, Michael C. Hall is in it. He's yeah. fantastic. He's Six very, Feet very Under good. is awesome. Lots of people saying yes for Six Feet Under. Uh, okay, since someone has mentioned it 30,000 times, this is the last show from the league that I'm recommending and then we'll go through the list. Scrubs. Scrubs was great, but again, if it came out today, it'd be very problematic. Uh, the show that's already on this list that I could kind of bat for. 30 Rock. Number 70. Yes. Yes. That's right. You're right. Hey, were you just Googling yourself? <laughs> were you just Googling <laughs> yourself? I don't, I don't. 30 Rock is fantastic, is man. 30 Rock, man. 30 Rock. 30 Rock. 30 Rock, is, Rock. Again, 30 Rock also, if you have inside jokes, callbacks, just. Dude. <sighs> one of my favorite ever favorite written lines in the history of TV shows. Is in that show when um, he looks at her after she's there's that episode with Carrie Fisher in it, huh. and she's sort of this writer that Liz Lemon aspires to be, and then huh. she sees like you know she's living in like this dump, and like, like it's it's horrible, and Liz Lemon sees like a really bad future, and she comes back and tells Jack Donaghy the next day, huh. and he has an epic line where he's like, "Lemon, never go with a hippie to a second location." <laughs> <laughs> Never go with a hippie to a second location is one of the greatest pieces of advice ever put down <coughs> in the history of advice. Also, fun fact, that line was written when he was in the writer's room by Donald Glover. Um, when he was in the 30 Rock writer's room. Um, just, and what a great, great, great line. 30 Rock is just one of those shows which will blow your mind. Like, there are, there are very few shows where you're like, dude, how is everything so well done, well shot, yes. well made, everything just... Ah, I don't like it. Perfect. Dude, Jane Krakowski, man. Holy shit. Like, she is the, like, her and Tracy are like the breakouts for me of that show. She's so astonished. That entire rural juror running gag is just one of the stupidest but funniest things I've seen in my life. I love, uh, who was, who's the main, who was the page? I'm forgetting his name. Oh, Kenneth, Kenneth. Kenneth, yeah, I Kenneth love him. Page. I Jack love McBrayer. just such nonsense, you know. Complete. Dude, Grizzen.com. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Grizzen.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to give Tracy <laughs> the spoil of these two perfectly self-actualized, well-aware henchmen is one of the single greatest, like, straight men pairings I have seen, like, in history. No, like, no. if you have to give, like, your comedic foil a straight guy to play off, just giving him Driz- Drizzen.com is too funny. 30 Rock, 30 Rock has to be, man. What a great, yeah, like, yeah, what yeah, a yeah. fantastic, fantastic show. Ooh, um, good. What about The Good Place? Oh, man. I will always fight for The Good Place. I will always, always, always fight for The Good Place. Like, what an astonishing show. There is one show that is not on this list, mm-hmm. again, that I would fight for. Um, it, it might be controversial, but uh, I think Doom Patrol should be on this list. I agree. I am adding it. I, I am not even disagreeing. I am adding it. Needs to be on this list. There, are you watching season 3, Sahil? No. Season 3 came out. Sahil, season 3 is out. 8 episodes are out. Sahil, there are things that happen in there. What, like season 3, episode 4 is, for my money, the greatest episode of television ever made. Because I'll tell you what, you'll watch it, all right? And you are a writer. I am a writer. So you will watch that episode and you will be like, how did this pass? Yeah. This, somebody went into a writer's room, said these words, and everyone else on the creative team at every single level said, okay, we'll do this. (laughs) And it works. And it works. And I watched, I watched, I watched that episode and then I immediately watched that episode again. Like, I, I I'd seen the trailer for season three, but I didn't know it was out already. Season three. Dude, season three is batshit. Okay. Season two, I agree. It dropped the ball a little bit, but season three is just like, they're like, Hey, like it's one of those suns out, guns out. Let's, we're doing this. <laughs> I, you know, if, if we are talking in that note, then there is another show whose season three has just come out, which is batshit when it comes to the writing department. Um, I don't know whether you'd agree with what we do in the shadows. Oh yeah, I would agree with what we do in the shadows. But also it's based off a movie that's really of course, awesome of already, course, of course. Which but is the only reason that I wouldn't it's outstanding. The expansion of the universe? Yeah, yeah. Man. It's astonishing. And it's like just what it's they've so done good. with season three is just I'm like I, again as a again, so like I think we also we watch it from different we watch shows from different perspectives, right? Straight up content. 
uh, entertainment and in writing and character development and just like oh man uh, aka jealousy uh, yeah aka jealousy Dude, what we do we watch from jealousy what we do i have sheer jealousy i have so much jealousy i want to be part of that writers room 30 rock i want to be part of the writers room i would love to be a writer 100%. on any of the community shows. 30 rock any of these shows all right uh we are going to come with 30 we are going to end it on 30 do you have any from this list that you would go for 30 i'm also going through oh we have one more spot left huh? yeah because we as we can go on till 100 no no no, no. We'll keep, i think no, no, we no. can we'll keep we'll going be here on. all so, night yeah let's we'll end it at 30 night. we'll do our top 30 uh, league i'm checking league i'm checking league i'm checking okay fine since this has been mentioned 33 million times what about dead devil Good show. I don't think it can be on thirty. Sorry. No, it, not top thirty. Below fantastic the thirties. Show. It's a fantastic, fantastic show. show. Fantastic show. But Fully below the thirties. Ozark, also. Not in the top thirty. Astonishing show, and it speaks to this glut, golden age of content that we're living in. Yeah. That Ozark will not be in the top thirty. But. What else? What is what my list? Let me see. It's always sunny. It's always over. Beep. Nothing. Peep show. Could play. Oh, I have <gasps> one. I have one. And I have one. Yes. Okay, shall we debate then? We can debate. Go for we yours. Can debate. We can debate. Go for yours. Um mine from here actually is it is it on this list or am I missing it? Uh yeah, it's on this list. Um number number 70 Battlestar Galactica. Ah. Battlestar Galactica aka Darkest Timeline Star Trek is fucking too good. Thank too you. too too good. All right, like it's a little dated in like retrospect, but uh, yeah, like it's too good. Uh, it's just too good. Like so many amazing episodes. Uh, you so you you've given Battlestar Galactica, and this is what I'm going to do. Okay, League. This time you all decide the thirtieth. Okay, Rohan was given his choice for a show, and I'll give Rohan time to talk. Okay, this is since we are almost at the end. I'll just quickly read two super chats real quick uh, before we go ahead. Paljania said he wanted to discuss philosophy with you. He doesn't have your Instagram. Paljania, I'll send you his Instagram, but you, he sent you a message on Facebook. Okay. And Ankit, thank you so much for the super chat. Big fan of you both. Please do a general. Thank you. Genre wise, top ten shows slash movies. Yes, we are doing a horror stream. I think we'll do a horror stream yes, next week, most yes, likely. So yes. that is what we are very excited about. Uh, do guys sometimes feel if we can go back to a time when we have not watched these great stories and watch them again every time, every time. Like there, I'll, and I'll tell you. Okay, since you mentioned this question, one show in recent times that blew my mind that I will want to put on this list: Haunting of Hill House. Okay, okay. So I haven't seen it. I know, I know. I heard it's fantastic. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, and I've heard it's outstanding. Uh, so I cannot debate you on this. Okay, but... I'll tell you what. Okay, I'll tell you what. You know how you went. You've given your PhDs on certain shows that you have loved. Yeah, I'll give yeah, you yeah, Haunting yeah. on Hill House. Okay, Haunting on Hill House is writing wise. Mm-hmm. Everything fits everywhere. Okay, I guess I know what I'm watching next. Horror. Yeah, there are a few elements of horror, but very fascinating because it's not your typical this that this that. Mm-hmm. There are there is one thing I will tell you. Once you're done watching the show, please message me because I okay. don't want to spoil it. But yeah, 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 yeah. There is one thing that the show has done which is done so well that it blew my mind when I saw the show. I had to see the show a second time because when I found this out, I you know if if. that is happening and last but not the least there is a sequence in the show which is a one take sequence which man haunting you have to okay. see it okay i'm convinced i'm convinced i am 100% that convinced that dude has that i mean the next haunting of bly manor was pretty average and before that he had made an one of the scariest movies i've ever seen but i think i should save it for the next time but uh, just haunting on hill house so yeah We've got Haunting on Hill House versus uh, Battlestar Galactica. This is interesting. Oh, it's going to be a tight one. All right, chat. I'm putting a poll. You decide, okay? Haunting on Hill House versus Battlestar Gal- Galactica. Vote. Uh, one second. Also going through what else? Spot thirty. Uh, uh, Haunting Hill House, Battlestar Galactica. Bolo, dosto, bolo. League. Hey, is Band of Brothers in our top thirty? No. Ooh. Will be added. Okay. Yeah, I mean like 
Dude, Band of Brothers changed everything, man. Like I watched Band of Brothers again in the lockdown, and that show still holds up. Like, in the sense, as a World War II epic, there has just not been anything like it. Like, Interesting. Ever? Have you seen it? I have not seen Band of Brothers. <gasps> I know, Please I know, I know, I know. Please watch Band of Brothers. Okay. Please watch Band of Brothers. Like, it's all the feels, all every single one of them. Like, it's like. It's like imagine that the end, the opening ten minutes of Saving Private Ryan, but for ten episodes. So like the thing is, I'm not of... a fan of war stuff. That's the thing, which is why but Band of Brothers have kind of been like. Man, mm. this is like World War Two done. Like, it's like man, if if you, if you watch that show and if you still believe that war is a good thing, then like it means like dil nahi hai kisi ka. I I don't think anyone ever believes that war is a good thing unless you are profiting buddy, from it. You know, buddy, like... you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you would be surprised. Oh, war. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what is it good for? As, man, as the poet nothing. once said. As the poet once said. All right, we've got 170 votes. I'm going to end this poll at 30. Uh, it's a pretty tight, this thing going on. Another 24. And uh, yeah. Ch- we discussed Chernobyl up top. Rick and Morty was a great show. Blew my mind, but it kind of tanked. I think the latest seasons, they've kind of gone too... I feel like you know, but the 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 finale episode was astonishing. I know, but like, it's the same thing yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, I'm the, like, the, I'm not the, seeing the, anything the, new from the show. Agreed. Agreed. Hey, you know what? Actually, Sahil, we both made poll. a. Oh, you're ending the poll. What? Can we throw both of these out? <laughs> <laughs> And Watchmen, dude. Ah, yes. Dude, Watchmen. For so many reasons, right? Including one, who would think you could make a sequel to Watchmen? Two, who would think you could make a sequel to Watchmen where every single episode would blow your mind and just get better and better and better at the end of which would be like, holy shit, they made a fantastic sequel to Watchmen, which somehow, somehow, now we forget, but was a year before the BLM protests. Yep. Yep. Before George Floyd, before the BLM protests. It, it, it has like... that show you know like they were like uh, i think hotstar was like hey you know what we'll do some like brand thing with you and you watch it and talk about it and i'm like i will gladly watch it i love the movie i will definitely watch it but watch i remember i i still have fond memories you know you guys are talking about stuff uh, i still have fond memories i wish i could go back to the time where i would wake up every morning sit sit my bean bag sit in front of the tv chromecast watchmen and watch that day's episode And be like, okay, it's interesting. Watch, 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 watch. And then at the end, mazak, yeah, just, just that grudging admission. No, that I was prepared to not like this. Just no, no. I yeah. was like, okay, how good can it be? But I'm like, this is too good. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's 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 too good. It, Dude, it's it's, it's Jerry. Good. What casting? Jeremy Irons, man. Come it's, on. It's just come on. Like. <sighs> Oh man, you know, you know what's the best part about this conversation is that uh it's it's so fascinating that not only have I there are so many shows that I have not seen, but of all the shows that I have seen, I am remembering such beautiful moments of joy watching yes. them. Yes. Yes. You know yes. like such sheer That's what TV and movies are, right? That. At the best, like it's just emotions in a box. Like, can you imagine that you just pipe emotions into people's houses and you make them feel things? And like, we all know where we were when the Breaking Bad finale happened. We all know where we were when we watched the last episode of Lost. We all know where we were when we hate watched Game of Thrones together by the end. Of it. <laughs> we all know where we were when these things happened, and these are all emotions, yeah. and they're all huge and valid, and these are things we've made communion around, right? Like at the end of the day, and I think that's amazing. Ah. <sighs> great this is uh, and uh, yeah someone has brought up a very interesting thought about hindi shows unfortunately we didn't discuss them we will do a proper stream for that also we should do our own hindi version of hindi top 100 hindi not top I mean, 100 top 10 hindi to, shows if i had if i had to add one indian show directly to this top 30 i would just put patal lok like without even thinking twice yeah like yeah yeah, yeah. dude patal lok tore my face off man when i saw it Like I remember, like being that Sopranos level of just like, okay, I can't watch anything for a few weeks. Yeah, like I was very like, how like, did I? Pata Lok was like interesting. I have seen. Hmm, I'm trying. Man, I'm trying to remember what is that what show is destroyed my. <gasps> Yuvraj has a good point. What uh, is Yuvraj? But actually, you know what? No, it 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 wandered away a little bit towards the end. Legion. 
Legion was a very good first season. Yeah, but it, it did go away. Uh, yeah. Daily Chai Latte and uh, Surbi, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, guys, link the Word document in the stream. Yes, I will pin it. I will, in fact, pin it as soon as we are done. And what we can, uh, what I, I won't, I won't pin the document because everyone is going to. I know the internet. You yeah, are going yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Mess around with this. Uh, 100%. So yeah, I think we've got uh, Sarabai versus Sarabai. Great show. Yes. Um, super duper show. So we've got 35 shows now. There are one two where there are आगे पीछे आगे पीछे जा रहे दो दो ऑप्शन डाले लोग you and I both know this is the sort of thing we could revisit this list next week and have a different thirty five yeah I think we right? should do thirty five thirty five and yeah but uh, <laughs> this is just what a great this list is just fantastic it's it's like Shobangi why is Sherlock not in the list for me personally because Stephen Moffat Stephen Moffat did it in the end and just build an unnecessarily complex mythos. पर मैंने डाल दिया। No reason। मैंने बाल डाल दिया because I'll tell you why Sherlock is one of the shows which has in terms of before Sherlock he also did a this thing called Jekyll. If you've seen, mm. uh, you should see Jekyll. It's a modern day retelling of Jekyll and Hyde. Okay. And I really liked that. Uh, what a great ending! But Sherlock also is the same thing, right? The first few seasons you see and you're like, oh dude. The way they have shot it, I will remember. I will never forget. Like we were discussing. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. When there is that scene where he is at the crime scene, and when he bends down, it instantly transitions to the car, the crime scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It changed for me. I yeah, wanted yeah. to that get into. Yeah, that was the season two first episode. Yeah, I, think. I wanted to get into shooting things because I, I these are shows that push you to do fair. stuff. You know where you're like, fair, fair, I fair. want to edit. I want to shoot. I want to make my like till date. We have no one has nailed a perfect Sherlock parody, where you know you have that zooms and the ten ten right. and just anyway. Right. So yeah, thirty five shows, guys. I think we yep. will now end it because we will yes. go on and on and on. But Vishnu, if you guys, yes, I am a fan of Boardwalk Empire, but I can see why it's not on the top hundred. Like, fair. if you guys have enjoyed this, okay, I'll tell you what, okay, chat the boys and Doctor Who, of course, the boys of any day. Um, so link, I'll, let's quickly do this, okay. First things first, this is. 35 shows that we highly recommend at any point of time if you are looking for content to watch or if you have a friend who's like bhai kya dekhe ab choose any one go. of these 35 and we promise you both of us promise you will not be disappointed uh, yes i also have a ton of shows that i need to see from this list so i am definitely going to be excited Same. to watch that um if you did enjoy the stream now here are the quick things number one if you did enjoy the stream i'm telling you now only if you enjoyed the stream firstly press the like button because we've got around 630 people which is fantastic it also makes me really happy that we've got fellow 630 fellow geeks watching this with us so welcome 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 Woo-hoo. to the family and i really hope that this family keeps growing because honestly it gives us a lot of joy talking about stuff that we like watching and we really hope you guys have fun um so yeah please pop a like and after the stream is done you can share it with your friends and you can comment your top shows in the chat section we will also be checking that out regularly yes. we will definitely be doing this uh, maybe again in soon we'll do um, you know uh, tv shows and all of that because there are a lot we have to you know and when this we was talk- just the 21st century guys. yeah abhi to pura 20th bacha hai bro bahut baki hai bro bahut baki hai so abhi to sir maine mera x files ka 3 ghante ka ted talk diya nahi <laughs> अपना टाइम आएगा एंड देर आर थिंग्स डूड वी गॉट हिंदी वी गॉट ऑफिस वी गॉट हिंदी कॉन्टेंट वी ऑल्सो गॉट फॉरन फॉरन लैंग्वेज शोज विच वी हैव नॉट टच इवन वन बिट बट इफ वी गेट इन टू दैट्स अ डिफरेंट जोन एनिमे सो वी विल डिस्क एंड एनिमेटेड एनी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द सजेशन गाइज आई हैव डू हैव एनीथिंग एल्स टू एड टू दिस आई हैव नथिंग एल्स टू एड टू दिस एक्सेप्ट फॉर द फैक्ट दैट आई हैव downloaded the guardians of the galaxy game and i will be streaming it over the weekend i'm quite excited uh, the reviews are actually pretty good for the game so yeah it excited. looks pretty good i even i pretty yeah, excited after yeah, the yeah. shit show that was avengers i hope that yes yes guardians so a lot of people have said this good. is an improvement on whatable hmm. so let hmm. and apparently like the banter between like the it's good Guardi- it's comic guard it's comic guardians and, and not uh, mcu guardians and music yeah So yeah. Um okay guys thank you so much for your recommendations we will also again when we do this episode again we will take your recommendations so people are getting really aggressive but if you've not if we've missed out on anything please let us know in the comments as soon as this episode is done that's number 1 number 2 uh i in the description as always i am putting rohan's channel please subscribe to rohan's channels monday is a crossword stream and now this yes. weekend is streaming guardians of the galaxy we are doing our best to be as active as we can so if you're like doing enjoying it, doing this it. please please let us know again i'm telling you if you enjoyed the stream take your phone out 
take a screenshot of your favorite moment from the stream, put it on Instagram, tag both of us, send us messages. I would love to hear what you thought about this. I would love to talk yeah. to you about the shows. I would love to just have a conversation with you guys. And uh, last but not the least, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. Yeah, last but not the least, two quick things. Number one, uh, as usual, shout out to Devesh. Thank you so much for being the mod. Uh, Devesh has been my mod since the start. So much, much, much love to Pablo. Everyone calls him Pablo. So thank you so much. And uh, the last thing was, I think next week we are doing uh, horror. Yes, I think we do horror. Let's not commit so that, you know, how we had that lightning moment. Like two days ago, we were like, oh shit, we should Not even today, it was today. Like, yeah, but I was like, hey man, Halloween's coming up, why didn't we do horror? Yeah, yeah, we could have yeah. done this later on. So, so we are doing an episode about something next week. Yeah. Is all I'll commit to right now. See, honestly, like, I, 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 I we are going to try to be as regular as we can. So if y'all are yes. enjoying the stream, please, please, please tell people that. And we'll try to stick to maybe Thursday or something like that. Because I think Wednesday that's a good Wednesday Wednesdays right? or Thursdays, we doing, yeah. Everybody thought the stream was yesterday first. Yeah, I know. I, I made a mistake. Then, but No, no, uh, it's fine. So uh, we'll try and stick to it. Yeah, we'll yeah. stick to that. And so thank you so much for your love, support. Thank you so much for watching. This is our top 35 list. And uh, we shall see you next week with another episode of Binge Clock. Right. League, thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you to everybody who super chatted. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Much you PR. are legends. Much PR. Always, always. And on that note, I will just wish you all a very happy weekend and enjoy watching these shows. Yes, Till... I will. I will go watch Haunting on Hill. <laughs> yeah, please do. Till next I have time. To. Bye. Outro time. Fancy outro. Are. Ah, all right.